I suppose I might as well just tell you. I mean, I never... Good Lord. Is that Stephen Clay? Uh, I thought he was dead. Apparently, that's Stephen's brother. Oh, well, that's good news. I can't imagine what the return of a self-proclaimed vampire would do to Anna and the PCPD. And you should have heard Lucy when she got a look at him. Luckily, he and Sam were able to explain before she put a stake through his heart. Well, there's never a dull moment around here, is there? <laughs> How are you feeling, Elizabeth? Oh, much better. Thank you. However, AJ continues to apologize, and I'm just not convinced it was his relish that poisoned all of us. Actually, I have some important news about your relish. I really hope you've seen the last of the relish headlines. No. Well, I'm afraid not. I just heard from Bridget. She's with the Chew's publicity department. They sent both relishes out to a lab to test to see how they've been tampered with. It was ours, wasn't it? Yes, it was. So this really was my fault? No, no. Let me clarify. Both relishes had been tainted. Not only yours, but also Tracy's Pigletti. What the hell? Wait, how, how could they have both gone bad? They didn't go bad. Somebody had tampered with them intentionally. Why would someone do something so awful? Who the hell would want to do that to us? The relishes were poisoned, which means somebody's out to get both me and Tracy. Does the lab have any idea who it is? No. Unfortunately, it's impossible to determine the source of the bacteria. And unfortunately, over the years, the court of have made a lot of enemies, so there's a very long list of suspects. It is under investigation. The authorities have promised to keep me informed. See, you were so quick to blame yourself, and you didn't even have to. You're right. I didn't. And now I don't have to... You don't have to what? Uh, I'm sorry. I've got to take this. It's Graham, and Cameron's homesick today. No, no, it's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Thank you. Hi, Graham. This is fantastic news. What? I don't see how. I don't like sabotage on national television. How is that a good thing? Because now I don't have to hurt Elizabeth by telling her what I did. That sounds serious. Yeah, and it gets worse. Tracy found out. And she threatened to go to Elizabeth unless I took the public fall for the food poisoning on the chew. I was going to block her by telling Elizabeth first. Yeah, but now we have proof that both relishes were tainted. Tracy can't force you to take the blame. Exactly. And Elizabeth doesn't have to find out about my serious indiscretion. Well, I understand now why you thought the sabotage was a good thing. I'm glad you got the Tracy Quartermain monkey off your back. Congratulations. On what? AJ's relieved that he doesn't have to take the blame for the food poisoning, especially as you were one of the unfortunate people involved. It feels really good to have it off my mind. I'm sure it does. You know, you're awfully hard on yourself. Well, anyway, I uh, better get going. I will keep in touch with you if I get any, any word on the saboteurs. Okay.